In this demonstration, I will create several layout viewports and show how they can be manipulated within a layout. Layout viewports are used to present model geometry for the purpose of output. Layout viewports, or simply viewports, are geometric windows drawn on a layout that let you see into model space. Viewports can be created in many different shapes, and each viewport can display different sets of layers, as well as drawing geometry at different scales and orientations. The typical viewport shape is rectangular, like the one shown here for this truss section. To create irregularly shaped viewports, you can create a polygonal viewport or convert a closed loop object into a viewport. The polygon viewport command behaves like the polygon command and enables you to draw straight and arc segments to form a viewport. A closed loop, like this circle, can also be converted into a viewport. In both cases, after activating the viewport, I can pan and zoom to get my view set just like I want, or I can enter the name of a preset view. You can create singular rectangular viewports, or groups of rectangular viewports, using options found in the Viewports menu. After creating and activating the single viewport, I can use the Pan and Zoom commands to show exactly the details I want. When I need multiple viewports, I only need to draw a rectangle to complete my task. Then I double click inside each viewport that is created and specify the views I want to show within them. In only a few moments, I've created a detailed multi view layout that is ready for plotting. Using multiple layouts and multiple viewports, a very large and complex project can be quickly documented and published on paper. Organization of these plotting features is essential to accurately conveying design intent. AutoCAD's layout and viewport options make this potentially tedious task quick, easy, and flexible.